We're going to prove the trig identity here. First, I'm going to come down here, write it out. 1 plus cosine theta. And to further simplify it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the conjugate of the denominator here. So it's going to be 1 minus cosine theta. 1 minus cosine theta. Multiply this out. I'm going to get 1 minus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta. All of this over 1 minus cosine squared theta. And this cosine, or this 1 minus cosine squared theta can be turned into sine squared theta as a trig property. So I'm going to write this out here. I'm going to get 1 over sine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta over sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta, which is equal to, um, wait, should that be minus, or excuse me, um, yeah, should be equal to uh, co cotangent squared theta. So I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to rewrite this equation, which can be rewritten as cosecant squared theta minus 2 um, cotangent theta, 1 cosine over 1 sine, and then 1 over sine cosecant theta plus cotangent squared theta. And this can further be broken down to two, two different polynomials, which is cosecant theta minus um, cotangent theta, and then cos oops, cosecant theta minus cotangent theta. And finally, this can be reduced down to cosecant theta minus cotangent theta squared. We just proved it.